The most common one is the control C and control V. Those are two commands that copy and paste. So for example, if you want to highlight a section of text and quickly copy it onto your clipboard, just hit the control plus the letter C as Charlie. Once you find the area where you want to paste it, for example, in another document, once your cursor is blinking in the right place, if you hit the control V as in Victor key, it will paste that item there. On a Mac, you can repaste the control key with the command key and use the command C and command V commands to do the same process. Let's say you're in a document and you want to select everything that's there to copy it so you can paste it somewhere else. What you do at that point, you use the control and the A key. The control and the A key will select everything. Let me show you the document that I'm looking at here. If I hit the control and the A key, you see how everything has become highlighted. At this point, I can hit the control C key and I just copied everything. So that is another useful command. Okay, let me get that out of the way again. Let's see what other ones we have here. Oh, the control Z as in Zorro key. What that does, it undoes the last thing that you did on your computer. We just had the situation with one of our clients and she was working on a long document in Microsoft Word. All of a sudden, she's a very fast typist, so she might have hit a couple of keys at the same time and given it the wrong command, but everything disappeared and just a letter A was left on the computer. Uh, at that point, if she would have stopped what she was doing when that happened and held down the control key and pressed the Z as in Zorro key, it would have undone whatever it was that she did to make all this disappear. So that's one to keep in mind. Uh, it's only useful if, if, if you stop at the moment that something bad happens. The other one that we've mentioned before that is very useful is the Control, Alt, and Delete key. Those are, that's a combination in a, in a Windows computer that will get you out of any program or if you're stuck on something on a browser or a lot of the times if you go to the wrong website and it freezes your screen, it tells you you have a virus or whatever, you hit the Control, Alt, and the Delete key. What I do is I hold the Control and Alt key down at the same time, then tap the Delete key. That brings you into Task Manager. And we'll cover the Task Manager a little closer in another class. But what that allows you to do is stop any process that's running on your computer. Okay, let's get out of that. And let's go to, let me get back to this one here. The same to reverse, the reverse of the control Z key is the control Y key, like in year. What that does is redoes any action that you undid. So that can reverse a control Z command. If you press on the F2 key at any time, once you have something selected, and let me show you that. Let's say if I click on this document here, so it's selected now, you can see how it's highlighted. If I hit the F2 key, as you can see, it highlights it's the title so I can rename it. So F2 is a quick way to rename something that you have selected, a file, a picture, a folder. That is a good one to know. The other way, of course, that we've shown you this before is if you're on a on a uh, Windows computer, or even on a Mac, if you have the right key function, 
you right click on it and you just go to the delete the rename function right there and you can rename it if I hit that it does the same thing as the F2 key okay let's see another one now there there are several combinations that you can use the Windows key plus a certain letter to make certain things happen so let me let me show you a couple here and and the Windows key let me bring up a Windows keyboard here that's what it looks like right there this one happens to have two of them depending on what type of keyboard you have or what laptop you're on it might look a little different so if you do the Windows key and the letter I right there that is going to bring up your settings menu so let me try that and here it brought up my settings menu which lets me do a lot of things in my computer as far as computer settings and so on the other one is the Windows key and the letter E and that opens up File Explorer which is this window here which lets you navigate very easily around your computer you can also access that by clicking on this file folder symbol that is by default on your taskbar unless you have removed it from there so that's another useful command let's try another one the windows key and the letter a and what this brings up is your action center right here let me move myself out of the way and what the action center is this area right here where you can navigate to certain things here commands and so on I can expand those to see all of them like airplane mode mode mobile hotspots check the network that I'm on and so on or you can just click on this right here now you might say well it's silly I can just click on that right there yes it is but if you're on a keyboard and you get used to working on a keyboard you can navigate very quickly around everything by using some of these keyboard shortcuts ones that I use regularly uh, being perfectly honest are the control C the control V for pasting control A to select everything in a document the other one that you can use is the Windows key and the letter D let's say you have all these programs open and let me open up a couple of things here and let me open up so now right here I have several programs open up here but I want to see my desktop very quickly I want to go to my desktop I hit the Windows key and the letter D and it brings me right back to my desktop okay okay let's try another one let's see what other commands we have here oh the emoji panel have you ever been working on a document and wish oh I wish I had my emojis so I can put them on there and so on let's try it with open office here and let's open up our text document editor and I am here now let's try and see if this command works inside of open office this one is the Windows key 
the period and the semicolon or just the period. If I hit the period right there, let me get myself out of the way again. And let's try it again to demonstrate that. I hit the Windows key and the period. And you can see the emoji menu has come up right here. So I can use those emojis in my document. You can also use the Windows key and the semicolon. Let's close that out and do the Windows key and the semicolon, see if that works. Yep, that works also. So there's a few things that you can use right there. It also give you, gives you access to certain symbols if you click on on that right there, like the copyright symbol or some other symbols that you might want to get to quickly. There's the emojis. And this one in the middle are different types. they technically the old school emojis like the little smiley faces and so on that you can use. But the ones that you would use the most are the emojis and this one right here. And again, you can get there very easily by just hitting the Windows key and the period or the Windows key and the semi semicolon. Okay, let's look for another one. Okay, a, a quick way to get to the snip and sketch, which we've demonstrated before, which you can use to take a screenshot of your computer. So let's try that. That's the Windows key, Shift, and S. I hold down the Windows key, I hold down the Shift, and I hit the S. And there we go. That is the, as you can see, I have the crosshairs here, which I can use by holding down on it to select an area and take a screenshot. So, quick way to get to the snip and sketch function. Here is another one. And let me put this window that I'm using on the other side here up. Let's say I have this window here and I want to work on two windows at the same time. If I hold the Windows key down and press the arrow key to the right, you can see it does perfectly moves it to half of the screen on that side. Now, I can open another document and you see right there it opened that, which is on the same thing, but those are the basic Mac commands, which I'll be getting to here in a minute. But if I open up another window, hold the Windows key and press the left arrow, it basically will put the windows side by side or I can open on this side any window that I want. But I'm going to open that one. So it makes it easy to work on two windows on a single monitor. Again, the Windows key and the left arrow or right arrow to use that particular shortcut. Okay. Let me go over some of the commands for a Mac. And let me open up a Mac keyboard here. Now, the copy and paste commands, instead of using the control as you would in a, in a Windows keyboard, you use the command. Command and C to copy. Command and the letter V to copy. You can use the command and the letter Z to undo the last thing that you did. If you want to save a document that you happen to be on, you can hit the command key and the letter 
S right here. Now to quit a program on a Mac, very simple. Again, the command key. And the Q key for quit. Logical. Not too hard to remember. To create a new folder on a Mac, in whatever area that you're in, you can hit the command key. The up arrow. And the letter N all at the same time. And that will let you create a folder wherever you have your cursor at that time. On a Mac, if you want to capture, take a screenshot of your entire screen, the command key again, the up arrow again, and the number three. Command, up arrow, and the number three will take a screenshot of your screen for you on a Mac. Okay. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoy our video, please like our video below. And please subscribe to our channel. That way you can get regular notifications of when we post new videos and so on. Like always, right in the description section, you will have links to any products, any software, any websites that we mention in that particular video. You will also have a link there to our membership area. We have a membership course that we make available and uh, please click on the link, take a look. It has an explanation of what the course is about. And again, don't forget to like our video, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.